Hello, Game of Freaks, Wild Child here. Welcome to another episode of uh, Battlefield 4. And believe it or not, these type of gameplays are the ones that I like to post in my channel because I think uh, we can uh, learn something about it, you know, and, and more to what not to do, more to the, uh, like, maybe improving skills and, and knowing what to do uh, when we play the game. I'm testing out here the uh, Spaz 12. I'm gonna have a nice 12 kill streak, and then I'm gonna be switching weapons. So that's that's gonna be part of the commentary, uh, the, the commentary, the, the topic, and uh, the whole skill and, and you know, whole business. So I am going to ruin it for you, but uh, you are not going to believe that we lost this game by one kill. And I had it. You'll see at the end. I had it right there. All I needed was one second. One of my team is not to die, which I believe was the guy who went, uh, who got la last place because I checked the score. As soon as the game ended, he went nine and ten, and then at the end was one and nine, and then at the end was one and ten. So that guy went one and ten, which tells me something. The guy is not smart. You need to be smart when you play the game. If if you die maybe three, four, yeah, three times in a row, yeah, three, four times in a row, and you only got one kill. That's telling you something, like, that's telling you the game, <laughs> you're doing something wrong, you know, something wrong, maybe you're lot out, and, and I believe that that was the case, a lot of people like to snipe, and I've been telling this for many, many, many years, <laughs> like, snipers suck, you know, snipers are such a, such a disease, you know, they think they're good, they think that it's cool, but you know, it's not, you know, it was, sniping was cool, you know, a few years ago. It's not anymore, right? No matter what you do, everything has been done. You know, no matter what you do, it, 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 it it's okay. It's not impressive anymore. So I think lazy people who, who like to snipe are the ones who end up going one and ten, right? And the reason why they don't develop skills is because of these. I want to say maybe ego or fear. You know, ego to try to be good at sniping and has to be sniping, or fear to to learn how to play the game. To go out there to get some kills. Yes, you know what? You're gonna die. But he, I'm guessing he was sniping. But he would probably go out with a SMG, LMG, or carbine, assault rifle. He would probably like, let's say the guy's not that good at the game, maybe five and six. At least he would have got more kills. If that guy wasn't in my team or in this game, we would have won it. You know, like no question about it. So it's always this like black sheep that ruins the whole thing for everybody. <laughs> so my point is, you need to pay attention to what's going on in the game, not just. I mean, of course, you have to be aware of uh, where the enemy's at and if they're camping, rushing, and all that stuff. But also like what's going on with you, right? I didn't have to switch my gun. I think I was doing pretty good with the shotgun. You know, getting some kills, avoiding deaths. Everything was going nice, as you see in uh, you know this what three minutes of this video. You know everything was good, but I said to myself, you know what, these dudes are maybe being too careful, um, slash campy. You know they always do in this map. So I thought maybe I needed a different gun, a gun with a uh, suppressor. So I have one ready just in case for this type of game. Uh, Type of games, the type of maps where people are like that. So, I, I want to be more of the uh, flanky type of guy, you know, with a suppress weapon, trying to um, surprise the enemy and, and all that. So, those are the type of things that, in my opinion, you need to uh, develop some sort of skill, like knowing what to do. So, you know, people sometimes don't, and, and some, I don't know if it happens to you. You know, you're using one gun and you want to use that gun, but it's not working out. You know what? Maybe it's, it's time to call it. You know, it's, it's time to call it with that gun. It's, that's not the that's not the gun for that lobby. You know, sometimes you're going to lobby with new people or just a bunch of snipers or whatever, and you can use any gun you want and you do pretty well. So maybe that's the that's the maybe the perfect game for sniping or whatever you want to do. But sometimes it's not. So if the gun is not working, you have to call it, you have to be smart about it, and uh, switch weapons, and you'll see how things just just change in the game, in your game, you know, you start seeing more kills, less deaths, you start seeing more 
more battle of destruction and <laughs> you start killing the enemy more and it's, and it's more fun. Maybe in the next game, you know, switch lobbies or whatever you want to do. Maybe try that gun that you would, you know, want, wanted to use and, you know, I'm pretty sure you'll find or you're gonna get a, a better game. So, you know, I think that's, that's one thing that other people don't like to. Oh, still with the shotgun over here. Like I said, I didn't need to switch guns. I think I was doing pretty good because I wanted a fast 12 gameplay. But um, you know, sometimes you have to. Sometimes you have to do those those little changes, and and just helps tremendously, tremendously. So don't be like the one ten guy. You know, going one and ten is just to me just ridiculous. No, you're like rank 20 at least. I mean, it will take even with the with the uh, <clears throat> with the boost and all that. It will take quite uh, a few hours just to just to reach uh, round 20 or, or around that. So take that time to to develop some sort of skill, not just to focus in on on sniping, you know, snipers you know, and whatever you want to do. So. Um, if you if you're good with snipe, uh, I'm sorry, with the uh, assault rifles, with the SMGs, you know, if you are comfortable using them, if you if you know that you are good, then when you switch weapons, it's gonna feel a lot easier. Well, well, not easier, but it's gonna feel not so difficult. And this comes from a person who rarely uses shotguns, not so much. I mean, I use one in a while. I push the game with them. But that for the most part you see me using SMGs, LMGs and, and carbines. So, you know, as I'm trying to to use shotguns a little bit more, you have to change your strategy, you have to change the mindset, you have to change the way you play. You know, you need to know the, the, what's the, the strongest point of the gun or the weakest point. So you obviously you take advantage of the strongest point and you avoid those weak points. So shotgun Close range is a strong point, so obviously you need to be more aggressive, but you need to be careful and move around buildings because you, you know, you have that advantage. If you're using LMG carbines or rifles, you know, medium to long range, so you have some sort of advantage, you know, on this long line of sights. So you try to, you know, be in those spots. So things like that you need to be aware when you play the game, and I believe it will avoid. That will avoid being the one and ten guy, right? That that's what that's what you want to be. You know, you want to be a decent guy. Nobody here is pro. I, I'm not a professional player. Like no one over here is really is pretty pro. But it's, it's it's good to know what to do or what not to do. And and you learn these things by playing the game by by having the stupid ego of just it's not, oh a sniper rifle has to be just sniper rifle. I cannot use anything else because. Oh, what people are going to say about me? You know what I mean? That's stupid. You know, same thing when when your gun is not working. Yeah, you gotta call it. You know, use the other gun and you'll see how things change. So we're still using, uh, still using the shotgun. Um, <coughs> wasn't wasn't so bad. I mean, it was, it was pretty good. But um, uh, like I was saying, sometimes you need to change things around, and you know, it just works for for the best. So. Uh, to sum up, you need to be smart. You know that's uh, to me that's the best skills, and you can watch any competition, uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and sometimes they're they're boring to watch. You would expect <laughs> to see these the, the, the true professional players trying to play like the ones who wants to be or look like professional players. You know, aggressive, knife only, pistol only, all this stuff. You don't see that in, in tournaments. The, the games are really slow. Have you seen any Call of, uh, the Call of Duty, Wow, well, for two stuff and all this tournament? Uh, you know, those, the, sometimes they're boring to watch. <laughs> they, they, they don't move. <laughs> you know, they're trying to, they're trying to avoid dying so much and all that stuff, and then and they just go for the objective, whatever the objective is in the game. But as, they're just slow games. So, you know, the pros don't play like that. So, thinking that that's, that's what the pros do, it's, uh, it, I don't know, it's, it's a very big misunderstanding, at least here on YouTube, or the majority of, of gamers, you know. That's not what they do, that's not how they play. Yes, it is teamwork, communication, but it's also about being smart, 
you know, being stupid, and you don't want to be the one and ten guy. So, you know, that's that's how you develop skills. You need to be smart and see what's going on. You know, it's easy to spot that you're dying too much. Well, gee, it's because of something. Maybe you're rushing too much. Maybe you're not rushing enough. You know, maybe spots are changing. You're not moving. There's one behind you. You're knifing up in. Uh, sorry. You're uh. Sniping up in the roof, looking through the scope, you don't know what's going on in your surroundings, and the guy comes from behind and boom, it's your tax, right? That happens. No, I do it a lot. So it's it's, it's about being smart, that's it. You know, that's that's a secret. Being smart. You know, taking making those decisions, taking your time. I mean I'm taking or I'm talking about just put it for a second, but taking your time to, to make these decisions like you know what? This needs to be done. Maybe next gameplay, but not for this one. So that's the uh, topic of this gameplay. That's the as well talk. And uh, as you can see, like I said, we, we we're not doing bad. I think the whole thing is because just one guy, you know, just one guy ruined the whole thing for the team. So it's uh, it. I mean, in a way, it was a fun game. I thought that I could do it, and you'll see in, in a few minutes. I had that. Winning kill in front of me. He was just right there. Just give me two seconds, and I would have won it. You know that guy don't die, and you know we got it. No problem. Cool game, but I mean it's still a cool game. I like it. You know we did a good job. You know with this past 12, which I like it. So I'm looking forward to use it again on a full game. And uh, you know, but you know what? If I'm posting a game with this past 12, and I need to change the gun, I will. You know because if it needs to be done. Um, I don't know, this game is so weird, this game is where you feel like the gun that you want to use or you're using, it is so powerful, you know, like in my previous gameplay with the MG4, you watch a game and it seems like that, that gun cannot be stopped in that game, it was such a nasty, you know, and maybe you could use it in another lobby in a different day, it doesn't seem too powerful, yes, maybe it could be lag or something, but it's kind of weird. Um, so if the gun is not working, you know, just try something else, and I'm pretty sure that you are going to do a lot better. So um, once again, this is a fun gameplay. I like it. Uh, it's all about flanking the enemy, just getting these snipers out there, just trying to get all these easy kills, um, you know, and uh, just trying to to avoid being an, uh, an easy target, you know, which is not it's not so difficult. It's not so difficult sometimes. And I've seen this a lot. People, people think that rushing is just being stupid. And, and, and to me, in my head doesn't make any sense how you just try to go to the enemy spawn, walking in the middle of the map where everybody can see you. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. At least just, uh, you know, uh, keep these guys guessing where you're going. At least go into a couple of buildings before you look out the window. Before you, you move out, you know, just, just play with some brain a little bit, you know. I know, I know you're rushing, but <laughs> it doesn't mean that you have to be stupid. So you see all these guys running out in the middle, you know, it's just like begging, you know, for, for the enemy to kill them right there. So it just doesn't make any sense to me. So a smart plane, it's always good, regardless of what you're trying to do. And, you know, it's always important to switch weapons if it needs to. If it's not working for you, is something that you know it's not clicking you know it's time to switch the gun it's time to do something different it's time to maybe be more aggressive or maybe more defensive and uh, whatever the case may be but uh, it's always about being smart you know being smart so I don't know that was a good gameplay for uh, this uh, type of tips and uh, like I said I, I like this type of game so I can put these videos out there and hopefully help some people out to know uh, avoid these mistakes but it's coming it's coming I'm trying to get this this last kill but I feel that we can we can win it and I got this guy and I am gonna be so close to kill this this next dude like right here it's like he's like right there in front of me that was kill number <laughs> 100 to win this game but anyways uh, sadly we lost it but we did pretty good I mean as a individual pretty good but hope you enjoyed this game with this commentary and as always if you haven't please check out my channel on the videos and I'll see you on the next